Good morning. Well, it's almost afternoon. It is Saturday morning and it is, oh, I don't even know how to look at my daggone temperature. I think it's 66 degrees. I've, I've been driving the other car so much. I wanted to reach down and hit the button. <laughs> and we've had rain most of the morning but it's clearing up now we're supposed to have high winds this afternoon of course i feel blessed that we're not supposed to get any of that bad weather that they had in the midwest yesterday again we're waking up from you know devastation from tornadoes i i think there was more than 60 the past 24 hours 60 tornadoes but I'm not sure exactly it, it may have been a record day for that date I don't think it's a record day ever but I think it was a record day for the date so if any of y'all were in the path of these storms I hope you're okay you know please let me know that you're okay and that you didn't have any damage or if you did let me know because I like to know I know there's supposed to be another one come Tuesday. Don't know if this one will be high. Um, I haven't really studied it yet, but just know we've got another day coming on Tuesday for certain parts of the country. And this, I think this will be the way it is through April. So, anyway, I'll move on from that. So today I'm wearing uh, some new things. Well, not new. Well, one thing is new. The rest of it I've had. Just switching it up since it's the weekend. I'm wearing a new sunscreen. It's a chemical sunscreen, which you know I don't normally buy chemical sunscreens, but I was very curious about this one. Many of you have talked about the Super Goop skin. Uh, primer sunscreen and the main reason I never purchased it or tried it was because it was chemical I just don't want to wear chemical sunscreens every day well then Dr. Dre did a video or a yeah she did a video and then a, a post on Instagram about this dupe for that super goop this is from Kroger. This is the Kroger brand sunscreen. SPF 40, and like I said, it is chemical. So if you don't want to ever use chemical, then don't, don't, you, you don't even think, look at it. If you're somebody who, you know, don't mind switching it up every now and then, and that's me, I don't mind it every now and then, but no, I'm not wearing chemical every day. But I just thought I would give it a try as a primer because it looks so good on Dr. Dre's skin. Of course, she doesn't wear foundation and stuff, so her skin's probably in much better shape than mine. And I know I've got that line going through me there. I don't know what the deal is with that. <laughs> Let's see if I open up the roof. Will they get rid of it? Nope. Oh well, I apologize for that glow whatever that is. Let's see if I move it just a little bit. Nope, it's still there. Oh well, sorry. Anyway, that's what I'm wearing today is that sunscreen. I'll, uh, let me see, I've got it in the in here. I've just got it in the box. And it says on it, compare to the ingredients in Super Goop. That's what it looks like. And, it, you know, it says it's reef conscious and water resistant. 60 minutes. Uh, it is free from octinine, oct octinine, <laughs> every how you say that. Oxybenzone. And, of course, there's no parabens if you worry about that. I don't worry about parabens. Okay. Um, it's got avabenzone in it. 3% uh, homostat. 11% uh, 
site is changed, so I'll talk about it more when I get up here to Walmart to pick up my groceries. And I think I'm gonna have to cut the AC on. My nose is running this morning from, I guess, the change in weather and the wind gonna stir up that pollen. So I, I needed to use my nose spray and I didn't. I'll have to do that when I get back home. I do take Singulair for my allergies. And most of the time that keeps them okay. It's just every once in a while that, you know, I have issues. And I guess today's gonna be one of those issues, right? Right. I know I'm not saying nothing. I'm waiting till I get here. <laughs> because I don't want somebody to say that I'm driving recklessly. Because there was a chaser last night that was driving very recklessly. And they went around Reed like, I mean, it's a wonder they didn't hit him. Now her hair is beautiful. It's a grayish blonde. If I could wear my hair like that, that color I would, but I don't think it would match my skin tone. All right, we're going here today because I don't want to be around everybody with me talking because I got to do this video before I check in. Okay, uh, oxalate 5.0% and octa, Octoline is 10%. Also, ingredients is, I can't read it with these glasses on. Dimethicone, which I guess is where you're getting the blurring capability because it does blur some of your pores. Now, there's also a bronzy color, which I did not get. But if you want to try this, order it from the and you don't have a Kroger, order this from the Kroger website. Now, I did see on eBay and Macari and Poshmark that people are pricing this almost as much as the Super Goop, which is ridiculous. It's $11.99 plus $5 shipping. So, order it from Kroger or go to Kroger and get it. Don't order it from those websites. Now, if I was going to sell that on that website, you know, I'd probably price it 20 bucks after shipping. I mean, with free shipping. But see, a lot of these people were pricing at $15 plus, you know, the shipping. I'm like, no. <laughs> All right, let's look at some other stuff I bought. Now, this I've used before. I hadn't used it in a while because I, I had used the other one I like, the Dermarist from um, Amazon. This is the Notorium Multi-Bright Transamic Acid Treatment 5%. Potent, it brightens, emulsion, targets dark spots for visually improved skin tone. Now, this also has a plus encapsulated kojic acid and alpha arbutin. Now, I love products with transamic acid. I do think it's made a difference. It's, now, there is another product that I also use once a month for brightening and I need to do a video on how I brighten my skin and fade my dark spots and how I've faded a lot of these through here. Of course, I do use Retin-A with Hydroquinone, but I only, I'm using it three times a week right now, but I'll go back to only one time before long. But even with that, they were not touching my brown spots I had on the sides of my face from driving. And of course, you know, from being in the sun or whatever. But I think with that other product that I've, and I, I have a hard time remembering the name of it, and that's why I say I need to do a video on it. And using transamic acid along with vitamin C, I mix this with vitamin C, I think it's made a big difference. I almost think it does as much, and I know I'm stretching myself here, as if you got a laser treatment. Just 
spitting it out there. And you don't have to go through the burning and all that cost. Because I've seen people with laser treatments and I'm thinking what I'm doing is no, doing no more than that laser treatment. Okay, now this is Ella Frida Organics. Now I have never used this skincare. I've been seeing it on YouTube for years. Barb of Total Control Beauty always raves about it. I was probably one of the few that was never sent these products. <laughs> and that's fine. But I decided I was going to give them a try. So I'm slowly replacing my skincare that I'm using now. Other than that. Uh, Notorium. I won't replace my cleansers though. My cleansers will always be peaches. And... I'll always probably have just a few City Beauty stuff, but as far as just my overall skincare, I'm replacing it with Ella Frida. I'm going to use it for a year and see what happens. So right now what I have is the Ella Frida Facial Moisturizer and the Ella Frida Face and Neck Firming Lotion. Now, ingredients wise, I don't see anything in here that is... Let's see if I got my, my new magnifying glass <laughs> from Timu. All right. In this neck cream, we got water, acetyl exapeptite, which is, you know, peptides. We've got sunflower uh, seed oil, uh, cedarol alcohol, which, you know, is a good alcohol, glycerin, and I'm trying to see what else is in here that might be. I'm a little worried about the coconut, but usually I don't have no problems on my neck with coconut because there is coconut nucifera, whatever that is. I guess it's coconut oil. So I'm a little bit, but hopefully I won't get the bumps on there. All right, I got it holding my head up. Well, my nose is going to drip. Uh, green tea's in here. Uh, Arnica extract. There is some essential oils at the bottom, so, but I don't think it's enough to worry about. Licorice root is in here. So there's some pretty good ingredients in here, but I don't think it's, I mean, for the money, it's not bad. I do like it. Let me show you the texture. I've been using it two days now. Here's the texture. Goes on well. There is... You can smell the lavender, I will say that. Now that I've looked at that, that's lavender I'm smelling. So, and that don't bother me. So if you're not into essential oils, special lavender, then you may not like this. Okay, the moisturizer. Now this is just the regular facial moisturizer. There's no retinol or anything in here. Uh, this is, uh, okay, fennel, Athi Exanol is the one, two, three, four. It's the fourth ingredient. So you know after that the percentage is probably not high of these ingredients. But then again, you know, it, there are not a lot of ingredients in here. It's not like there's a page like It Cosmetics has, you know, pages and pages. But okay, after the fennel, oxyethanol is. Uh, green tea, licorice root, of course, sodium hyaluronate. <laughs> um, there's some kind of collagen. Uh, and Altoin is the last ingredient, which, you know, heals the skin. Okay, we're going to put it. Now, this is a little bit watery. It's more watery than the neck cream. You can see. So let's rub it in. And it feels, it feels good. It's making your skin glow. It sits well under makeup and it sat well under that skin, that sunscreen I used today. And, okay, where'd my lid go? 
I'm always losing lids. Okay, here it is. So, right now I'm loving these. But then again, it's only been two days. And as you know, I will be completely honest. I won't be, you know, mean or nothing because I do like supporting a small business. But I mean, it, that's not to say that I won't buy something from a big business. But this is just something I wanted to try to see if it can live up to the hype. Because I mean, there's some hype out there for these products. Now, I will say, and of course, I don't watch everybody on YouTube, but the ones I've seen, most of the reviews, except for Barb, is older. So, I would be interested to know how many are actually still using these products after two years, besides Barb. Because, are they like me, and they like to move on to new stuff, or is it really that good? that you just don't want to try anything else. But as I said, I will continue to use my peaches, cleansers, and probably my City Beauty Microbiome Mask at night. Of course, the lip products from City Beauty. And I haven't decided about the vitamin C yet. I will probably go ahead and order theirs when I finish up the vitamin C that I have now. I really like peaches vitamin C but you know why not try another one and just see because you know I get some talk where you know you're kind of partial to this brand because they send you stuff and I mean really and truly I haven't got that much from from peaches in a long long time everything I've gotten I've bought from them you know I don't I don't ask for people to send me stuff unless it's something that is really expensive. And then I just say, what the heck, I'm going to ask for it. And if they send it to me, fine. If they don't, fine. But from small business, small businesses, no, I'm not going to ask them to send me stuff all the time. Because I know I don't. Now, if I sold them, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of merchandise from people buying through my links, that might be totally different. But I know I don't. Anyway, I'm going to shut up about that. And I'll let you know, I'll keep you updated on those products and I'll keep you updated on the more that I buy from them. Cause like I say, I'm gonna keep buying till I have everything but the cleansers. So I'll talk to y'all later. Hope y'all have a great day and great weekend. Stay safe from the weather. Make sure you watch it and know what's gonna happen in your area. Talk to y'all later. Love you, bye.